Alright, uh, what's up folks? So, um, I decided to do a shade video and discussion because of, uh, the, uh, the Splatoon 2, um, global test fire that happened this weekend. So I fear with, uh, that going on, this might be, um, you know, something fun to talk about. So, um, anyway, uh, I picked up the Nintendo Switch, um, here while back. Uh, on launch day, and then I saw this weekend they were doing a global test fire for um, Splatoon 2, and so I started playing that. And um, I hadn't really played the uh, first one, so um, you know I didn't really know what to. I mean I've, I've screwed around with the first one a little bit, but I just haven't you know put in like a lot of time. I think I'm still level one on the first one. Um, I think I've only done like one match. I uh, screwed around with the um, one player campaign a little bit. It was an interesting concept, but um, it's just so hard for me. I uh, recently got it on Wii U. It's hard for me to get out of that mindset of thinking, oh, I can't play online because I don't have a subscription. Because I don't have a PlayStation or Xbox subscription, so I can't play online there. So it's, it's kind of hard to, to get out of that mindset of thinking, oh yeah, I don't have to have a subscription. I can play anytime I want. <laughs> and I figured uh, today would be a fun day to shave off this nonsense on my face. You know, when I do stuff like that, I usually only do it for like a couple of days and that's it. Um, but, uh, but anyway, so uh, I uh, booted up the second one um, and I started playing on the Global Test Fire. And uh, there was a lot of, uh, oh, I don't say a lot, I guess, but there were several new features um, that uh, I, I wasn't uh, prepared for. Um, most notably, at the beginning of each match, you get to choose your weapon, and um, I haven't got to the point in the first one where I can do that, that I've noticed. So uh, as of right now with the first one, I pretty much just have that one, you know, gun, and then that's it. Um, but uh, the second one, I was able to choose the paint roller, which I had some fun with that. Um, the, uh, the, the, well, they, a new feature they brought for the second one is dualies, so you can dual wield you know, two guns instead of one. Um, I don't know if the uh, the sniper rifle is new or if that one was just behind a paywall or something like that on the first one. And I hadn't, I hadn't messed with that uh, yet. Yeah, screw it. I'm just gonna shave it off. Screw it. So uh, this will be a nice test for what a, uh, a single blade can do versus a cartridge. Yeah, can you do that with your Gillette Fusions? Mm -mm. I'm gonna put that under the category of doubtful. Ow. But, uh, anyway, the, um, I was only able to play for uh, one session um, based on work and, you know, other things but uh, I had a lot of fun and it uh, reinvigorated my um, fervor to uh, go back and play the original so I've been doing that over the weekend also in between matches um, that I had set up now uh, I tried to play a second match while I was actually at work but it looks like they uh, worked in interface with Nintendo's uh, 
servers. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that. That's a bummer. <laughs> Now one thing I noticed though, as I was playing, was uh, different players' play styles. Um, some players, they just mainly wanted to play to uh, shoot the other team. I noticed uh, there were a couple of guys or girls, whatever, uh, they weren't even spending any time whatsoever um, painting the area. They're just pretty much going full offense and defense, I guess, depends on uh, situation. Which I thought that was kind of interesting. So they, uh, I guess, uh, they set that up so they can do that while the rest of the team worries about painting the surface. Um, then you had some guys, and they would go all the way to the opposite team's uh, respawn area and start painting their thing. And I'm like, man, that's that's kind of a a gutsy move, you know, you're, you're like going into the enemy's territory doing that. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, I actually lost a match. Well, my team lost a match uh, based on based on that. Because um, uh, basically there was a uh, The other team had two or three guys, and like I looked at the map after it was done, pretty much they didn't spray anything at all whatsoever on their area. As soon as the match started, they immediately came over to the opposing team's area and just started spraying their area. And so when people respawn, it's like, what the heck? You know, this whole entire thing is yellow now. And uh, I thought that was kind of interesting uh, that these guys didn't even take, you know, a second to even paint their area. They just immediately went to the other team. Anyway, my tactic when I was playing was basically to just spray the floor. I wasn't even concerned about the other team or the other guys. I was just like, spray the floor, spray the floor, spray the floor, spray the floor, spray the floor. Which, um, that objective got old after a while, so I may have to, um, come up with an objective where you spray the floor, shoot the guy, spray the floor, shoot the guy, spray the floor. Um, I mean, especially the fact that on the global test fire, Maybe the game, the actual game, will change later on, but it seemed like I was only playing one level. And so that the monotony of just spraying the floor increased by the fact that there was only two environments that you're playing in. Anyway, I did think it was a pretty fun game. I was pretty excited about it. Um, I'm really stoked for the actual game to come out. Um, and I'll more than likely be picking it up. So I'll, I'll go ahead and leave my um, uh, gamer nonsense in the description. If anybody wants to add me, feel free. If you don't, I don't care, whatever. as my pure apathy rolls off my tongue. <laughs>
Now, okay, and as promised in the uh, video title, uh, we have uh, Brute Aftershave. For every man who wears Brute, there's a woman who loves what he smells like. Because there's something about Brute that's nice to be close to. And nobody knows that better than a woman. Honey, I was just thinking about you. Brute cologne, deodorant, and everything else. Brute, it smells like a man. Uh, channeling my inner dad uh, because he would always wear uh, Brute in the um, 80s, 90s. I don't know if he still does. Probably graduated something more. Um, I don't know. Something less Walmart. very distinctive scent. Now, I remember when I was a kid, I really got into this as a, a teenager. I got out of it. Um, but uh, then I've, I've actually come back to it in the past uh, few months. Um, I've got that. I've got the clone, the splash on. So sometimes I go all brute. Wife hates it. It's great. It's a great time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess I don't have much else to say. Um, for those of you uh, who um, have a Wii U, don't have Splatoon, I recommend it uh, for the time being anyway. Um, I know I was talking with uh, Vampire Mike about it and he had reservations about it because he was worried about the Nintendo taking the servers down. I can understand that, that's a very legitimate concern. If you can get it on the cheap though, um, it's a really fun game. It's really mindless. You know, you have to check your, um, your uh, critical thinking at the door because the whole game is just spraying paint all over the place. But uh, at any rate, I really enjoyed it. I had fun with it. So um, I'm looking forward to part two. I'll probably be picking up part two once it comes out. And uh, yeah, so I guess that's all there is to say. Uh, thanks for watching and peace out.